Hey there guys, Penobi here bringing another Pokemon narrated Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be a 4th generation and new tier match versus Paintball Rules, another Pokemon narrator, I do believe. Um, I'll try to hunt down his channel and find a link and put it in the description. I know I've seen his name around the community. Anyways, this is a battle that I had at Battle for Charity 3, which is a live streaming event going on all this weekend. I believe it's from September 2nd to the 5th. Either way, yeah, it was on Friday night that I had some stream time, and I'm also streaming again tonight at 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. my time. I will post a video for those of, the, those of you that do not want to have to calculate the time. Um, I'm East Coast, U.S. time, uh, just so everyone knows. Anyways, um, hopefully you can tell I got my new microphone finally in. I still haven't really played with the audio settings too much, so maybe there's still some room for improvement, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Oh, I asked a question. Hopefully you guys can just read that on the screen. Uh, didn't want to have a super long intro, but anyway, yeah, leading with my uh, Skunk Tank, just gonna go for the Sucker Punch because I do know that Whale Lords are oftentimes Scarfed with the Water Spout. Water Spout, of course, being a move that does more damage based on how much HP he has, so hitting him with a priority move first would severely cripple it. Unfortunately for him, he knows that uh, Skunk Tanks often carry the Sucker Punch, so he goes for Hydro Pump. I'm guessing he actually does have Dual Stab because that's not uncommon on a Whale Lord. But either way, I'm going to bring in my Rocket Man, knowing that I can resist the Hydro Pump, take one hit, and finish him off with the Crunch, based on how much damage the Sucker Punch did for my Skunk Tank, considering that my Rocket Man has attack investment with Life Orb, whereas Skunk Tank does not. So for some reason, he opts to go into Espeon. Perhaps he thought I was a special-oriented uh, Sharpedo, which is not uncommon, but I am physically based. And then he brings in his Rapidash, which I'm assuming the reason he brought in Rapidash, even though it seems like a stupid play, considering I just hit him pretty hard with the Aqua Jet, is that he didn't think I had Aqua Jet, considering that in 5th gen, most Sharpedos are speed boost, which means they don't really need Aqua Jet. So that was probably his thought process there, which isn't too bad. But he did manage to get the burn on me, which does cripple my Rocket Man, so it won't be able to do too, too much later on, especially considering that it's uh, physically based primarily. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to my Lights Out, knowing that I should be able to take two hits and set up the Rain, because this is actually a Rain team, ironically, considering that he's been raping me with a water-oriented Pokemon. But sadly, he's not going to miss any of these three Hydro Pumps, and he's going to be able to take out my Lights Out before I'm able to do anything other than set up the Rain. All I really would have done is Explode, which would have uh, got me a free switch into one of my Sweepers. But thankfully, even with his Scarf, I do have my Electrode. Electrode having like 140 base speed, which is very, very fast. I believe it's the fastest NU tier Pokemon uh, that, you know, doesn't have to support doesn't have to sport a scarf so any other pokemon that wants to get to his speed level will need a choice scarf so yeah he's gonna switch out to sand slash predicting my electric move which is a good play on his part unfortunately for him i carry the hidden power water which is going to get the uh rain boost if i was hidden power ice or hidden power grass i'm um, considering electrode only has a like 80 base special attack even with the life orb uh, he could have survived depending on his investment depending on what kind of sand slash he is so unfortunately for him i do carry the uncommon hp water so it seems like his team is actually um, would actually fare better against some of my other defensive-oriented teams because it seems like he has a lot of fast wall breaker kind of Pokemon. But unfortunately for him, as we already covered, Electrode has a very, very high base speed. And it's going to kind of enable a lot of his uh, team strategy useless because Thunder is easily going to be able to OHKO his Haunter. And of course, Thunder has 100% accuracy in the rain, which I was able to set up with Licky Licky. And as we've already covered, even his Choice Scarfed Waylord is not going to be able to outspeed, thus bringing him down to, I believe, his last poke here already, making this kind of a fast battle. But, um, yeah, he's going to bring in his uh, freaking Noctowl. And, yeah, Monkey Ball got, you know, fucking bananas in this game. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is kind of just a quick little video so I can catch up with you guys, check in, um, let you guys know that I will be live streaming tonight, that I was live streaming on Friday. Thank you to everyone that showed up. Thank you to anyone that feels like coming by this time maybe we can grab a battle do some fourth gen maybe some fifth gen not really sure um yeah so that was a good game paintball rules uh it was kind of fast a little sweepy-ish but uh still pretty fun pretty interesting to see a choice scarf whale lord in action it's been a while since i've seen that and um other than that it's a pretty balanced team you see a lot of espions and sand slashes although it's cool to see rapidash get some action as well um i definitely think status rapidash is the way to go so cool there and yeah, the answer to my question, which is what is your favorite priority move, my answer is going to be Aqua Jet. I don't think I've asked this question before, although I think I might have said something that had to do with Aqua Jet before. Um, e either way, this is just a question that occurs to me a lot. And Aqua Jet's my favorite priority move because Rocket Man, obviously, my Sharpedo, um, he sports a fairly good base speed at like 90, 95, but 
the priority really, really, really helps, especially in situations like this battle where I was able to hit that Rapidash for um, substantial damage. And also other Pokemon that I like to use, like Quillfish, can use it as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave your favorite priority move below, and I'll catch you guys later.